All right, folks, welcome. It's another Friday in the life of the world. In the Gregorian calendar, it's March 13th. Welcome. I am Citizen Jones Usain, and on the program today, builders remember Itafaji victims want collapsed building offenders jailed. Court grants interim order for the release of dethroned Emir of Kano, Mohammed Sanusi II, from detention. And later on, we'll share this with you. Arsenal manager Mikel Ateta tests positive for, for coronavirus. But let's report I'm hanging out with um, uh, uh, Cyril Abaku. Thank you, citizen. Yeah, Thank I agree with you. You know why the thing Sakwami Lori is because your state is next to mine. Right or <laughs> wrong? Sure. No, but it's okay. Yeah. Uh, there's also Charles. The unofficial prince from Venice today. I've heard that before. <laughs> Charles Ideho is here. So, uh, simply put, the team is ready. I hope you are. You know, an old English expression, which is a so-called Chinese curse, says, may you live in interesting times, end quote. And we all are. On Wednesday, March 13, 2019, a building on Massey Street in Central Lagos collapsed. Of the 65 you know, occupants of the structure, 37 persons were rescued alive, while the rest reportedly died tragically. The intriguing aspect of the tragedy is that the three-story structure had an approved school on it. And one year after the tragic incident, critical stakeholders in the building industry, led by President of the Nigerian Institute of Building, Kunle Awobodu, wants offenders linked to the collapsed structure punished accordingly. And might I add, and colluding government mm -hmm. officials too, Chris. Yeah. Oh, well, um, so, okay. You, you, when and, you, yes. and colluding government officials. Yes, of course. I, 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 that's, that's, that's well, you very, understand very, yes, of course. Yeah. And that's very instructive. Because when you go to some areas where you have structures being raised, sometimes you see the red X, what they call red X, will be, will be marked red X. And then they will say, this one has not I mean, be properly registered or so. So or stop approved. work. Yes, yeah, stop work. But you find that. You, you go there a few weeks after, the building way would have been raised beyond that level. It, maybe they got to a little level. Before that, it is, it's not. And then the, the mark and everything is gone. The question is, at what point was the building now approved? Mm. So, which, which of course gave bent to this issue of uh, the collusion by, by, by government officials. Yeah. Because they are not above board. All, all you need to do is that you know who knows who and then it, it directs us somewhere. And then you yeah. get the ex express uh, approval, which is, of course, that is causing... It, well, if you go to Lagos Island, for instance, I, I used to have a friend who lived on uh, Evans Street on, on, on the island. You know, when they, when, any time I visited him at that time, long, long time, time ago, the staircase that, 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 that led to his apartment, you couldn't go straight. You had to, be, you had to go sideways. Mm. And it can't take two people abreast. Mm. When you get to the first landing, you have uh, uh, water, water, uh, uh, maybe drums and all that. And then you now get to another. And then when you are there, it, the ceiling, maybe if you get to the first floor. You see, when you look at the ceiling, the ceiling is uh, has cast. Why are so you complaining? I, I Tena even, te tenancy there is by choice. I, I am even surprised that he has the grace to explain some of those. <laughs> you know, so exactly. time and, you know, <laughs> my, my, my own worry is that, citizen, we are a society that does not have value for closure. We have no value whatsoever for bringing closure to matters of this kind. Oh, yeah. You rightly talked about building, right. uh, uh, colluding government agencies. But it, it is also really the shame of a society that today it is professional builders who are now marking today. And I think if, 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 if the information I have is correct, inaugurating the Builders Day in Nigeria. In Nigeria, that's it. It shouldn't be so. If this had happened in places like Spain, maybe the U.S. and so on, they will be organizing candlelit sessions to remember, to remember the dead that exactly. and, those, to, tell them, and to tell themselves that never again should really anything like That's this it. happen. I remember that on the day this whole, you know, this day, the building collapsed, there was an 11-year-old boy, Adele Ashwetan. It was his birthday. Told the mother, mm -hmm. that, he was not, that, that he didn't want to go to school. He didn't yeah. want to go to school then. 
If Shoet hadn't got the school, that he wouldn't have died. Oh yeah. But Bibi oh, Adeola yeah. took his back. You know, he went to school and he met his. He so, so, so I, I, indeed, you cannot but agree with Shakespeare when he says, "There's no armor against fate." That's it. Um, I hear we there's a footage. Okay. Okay. Now, president of the Nigerian uh, Institute of Building, Kunle Awobodu, is uh, joining us on the telephone. Uh, good evening, sir. How are you? I'll try. Good evening. All right. Let's. Uh, so, so, uh, how do we stand on this matter? Well, honestly speaking, the rate at which buildings have been collapsing. Yes. Mm. Yes. The state at this, which the buildings have been collapsing is quite alarming. Why we were so worried was that in 2019, there was a rise in the state of collapse building. How? Since that of uh, Itafaji on 13th March uh, 2019, 47 buildings collapse in Nigeria. 20 buildings collapse in Lagos State. And since buildings collapse on the Lagos Island alone, the local government, or out of uh, 23 local governments, it now shows you that there is something special in the way construction has been taking place on the Lagos Island. And today, as if we are directed by God, to name 13th March as Builders Day, we witness those children that have just recovered from the building collapse. They were injured. We saw the injury, but what about the psychological impact? Mm. What has been happening all along was that when the building collapsed, within two weeks, everybody has forgotten about it. Mm -hmm. it, it uh, somehow, it, yeah. this particular one, we went there this morning, the parents of those children were there, and some of the children, it was so pathetic that we must put a, top, a stop to this happening. If this nation is a nation that respects rules of law, this should not be happening. And we are professional builders all over the world. People will assume that Nigerians don't have trained and qualified builders, which is wrong. So what we are trying to express today is to tell the government, to tell those who are managing the built environment, the regulations and the laws, that look, let those who are trained be in charge of the site, construction site, so that there will be less crisis all over the country. Because what we have been, ha what we have been having was a station where people who are impostors, who are fake, fictitious, who are claiming to be builders or engineers are, are, are developing. Yeah, Mr. Wobo, uh, let, let's make it a, a dialogue now. Mr. Wobo, yes. um, yes. I like your uh, narrative, but, but let, let's, let's go a little back in time. On yes. September 14, 2014, a structure on the premises of the Synagogue Church of All Nations collapsed came down with over 100 people, yeah. if you remember. Yes. Between then and now, nothing has happened. And I take you to Akwaibom State on December 16, 2016. Another structure, this, this time a church, the dome of the church caved in and killed tens of people. Yeah, that's right. uh, so never mind, we were given official figures. So these things are a recurring decimal. Yeah. 
how do we get around this, sir? B Kunle, that's, that's for me, that for us is the crux. Yes, that is the solution. Are, 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 we, are we going to punish bad behavior? Have we been, been punishing bad behavior? Honestly speaking, uh, the synagogue building collapse happened to be the first uh, register of known uh, collapse building that was taken to court. And as I then, I was the president of the building collapse prevention guild. And our team investigated that collapse building. And the matter, it, it, our report was now presented in court for prosecution. Similarly, our report of building collapse prevention group was, re, uh, was presented in court for the prosecution of Lekki Gardens. Now, if we start to lay emphasis on persecution and we don't overlook, we don't say it's okay, sentiments, let's live in. Developers will become cautious. So, that was why Mr. Femi Falano was at a rally today and volunteered to jointly uh, embark on prosecution with the government and relevant professional body. So that Impunity will become a thing of the past. To stop this, there are two, two, two ways to attend to this building collapse. Okay. Some buildings that are poorly constructed, that are still standing, we should find a way of removing them. And there are several on the Lagos Island. Okay. Then secondly, the is to ensure that buildings under construction now have people that can be held responsible. That is, those who are learners that will be in charge. That if anything goes wrong here, by your training we trust you. If anything goes wrong with the building, you'll be held responsible. Okay. And everybody will be very cautious. All right. On like what is happening now. Oh, okay, Mr. Wobudu, let's talk specifically about uh, Massey Street building, you know, the one of last year we are talking yes. about. Yes. Uh, is anybody in the slammer? Is anybody? In the slammer. Is, is anybody um, answering questions? Well, coincidentally, I happen to be a member of the five-man panel set up by Governor Ambody. Uh, our experience during that uh, investigation was that we couldn't see many of these documents required. No, no building plan approval. So put simply, nothing. You know, I will do on on this business. In this business broadcasting, the constraint is timed. Yeah. Um, um, my colleagues yeah. might have one or two questions for you. Yeah, I do have a question, Mr. Wobudu. Uh, before you came on, we were talking about the issue of uh, buildings that have been marked, not registered or not approved. A few weeks later, you see the building, I mean, raised up. At what point is it, can you look at it as a, how mm -hmm. did they get registered? How did they get approved? We are looking at uh, a possibility of uh, complicity. Maybe people are colluding with uh, all these people within the government circle. Can you, can you, can you uh, look at that? Uh, yes. Uh, 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 there is a general perception that government officials have been compromising. Where, where you don't have evidence... It, you see, have see, evidence here we go see, again. Here, here we go again. <laughs> where you don't have evidence. So how do you prosecute? But, uh, now, a building, the building collapse of March 13, 2019 is behind us, and something went wrong. And so we are not saying, Mr. Obudu, don't uh, sound like uh, a typical Nigerian uh, exactly. government official. Oh, no. What, I, what, I, what I'm trying to say is this. Is anybody answering questions regarding that structural collapse? Yes. Uh, recommendations were made. 
No, no. Is yeah, anybody so answering? Is anybody I don't, I don't answering <laughs> questions? If the answer is no, let, let no, no problem. So, to the best of my knowledge, after we submitted the the report, uh, nothing was heard from our end. Exactly. So mm -hmm. I'm not in a position. Here we go to again. Tell you that. So yes, Cyril, go yeah, ahead. that is very, definitely what I'm trying to say is this. You see, we are hopeful this time around. For instance, <laughs> in Lagos State, <laughs> the present governor was the vice chairman of our committee, the technical committee that was set up by uh, Governor. And uh, the ex governor of Lagos, yeah, is Mr. Baba Tudelaji Fashola. And somebody coming from that level of experience should be committed to preventing building collapse. But unfortunately, I, or ironically, the state of collapse has increased. Since last year. Uh, all right, we'll, we have one final question here. Yeah. Uh, Chris. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, Mr. Akunle, I want us to step back a bit from the level of stakeholders. Let's mm. look at it from the point of view of the Nigerian Institute of Builders. When you meet as a body in your, uh, at your meeting mm. or conference, what do you wish for? Do you wish that you, know, you had more powers um, to monitor and flag buildings that are being built? Um, Without, without uh, you know, yes, with, 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 without, without not, approval, not those, yeah. okay. yes, or do you, do you wish that, you know, you are more involved in the policy process, what would you do differently if you had no incumbents as a body? What would you do, what, what do you wish was done differently? Yeah, honestly speaking, the process is faulty. That is our concern. It seems as if those in the physical planning, have been overwhelmed by, by, the, rate of, by the rate of development. So, mm. before you know it, some people, some buildings have been developed illegally. So, therefore, there is no way this problem can be resolved without those in oh. the. Okay. Planning, we, uh, combining forces. Yeah, so, 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 Mr. Wobodo. Yeah, Mr. Yeah, Wobodo, what you are saying yeah. is, hold on, what you are saying essentially is there is no end to building collapse, and for that matter, nobody will no, get no punished. No because I was thinking that, you know, we could have a central data bank, for instance, That's where, it. where you could identify any building being developed, the professional the builder attached to it, and and, all you know, that, that sort of thing. So yes, if, if but you said there's nothing that could be done, then, and then it's, it's, it's uh, giving us a picture of uh, that uh, we, we are helpless, Mr. Wobudu. Yes, uh, we are after solutions, and that is essence of our marketing builders day. Yeah, well, that but, we belong to Council of Registered Builders of Nigeria, the regulatory body in charge of building construction in Nigeria. That with with collaboration with government. Uh, uh, all right. Yes. I, I, I'm sorry, we, 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 we have uh, to pass this mm. by, but the message is taken. Mr. Wobudu, let me say I sympathize with your job, mm. sympathize with you, I sympathize with the parents, but no sympathy for people whose hands are deep in this mess. That's right. And this, these debts are likely mm. avoidable. Thank you, Mr. Kunle Awobodu, for your time. And he is, by definition, president of the Nigerian Institute of Building. And they, they, they have this body that, have, that seem to have teeth, but they can't bite. It, it, don't you remember... But look at the way he's saying that Chris, they're helpless. Chris and Cyril, yes. you must remember a particular cartoon drawn by one of Nigeria's finest cartoonists. Um, the uh, pan, uh, be, panel beaters in Nigeria. Okay protested to the National Assembly, mm. and when they, they were asked it must be interesting. what is the problem, they said, a member of our panel must be on the panels you always <laughs> set up. <laughs> to panel beat. <laughs> I, 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 I could have guessed that the just was going. <laughs> I knew it was up to something. I mean, see, but <laughs> if, if I may, if I may, yeah. um, the commemoration of today, 
which they are undertaking and which has also helped us to set this agenda is fine and is welcome. But it shouldn't be the builders that's marking it. this day. That's, that's it. it. That's exactly. Lagos, Lagos, Nigeria should mm -hmm. be mourning. It should be a national. And be a national. then yeah. we should have a means by which we tell ourselves, like I said earlier, oh, never boy. again. What are the mistakes that are made? It was not only Tafaji. After Tafaji, another building collapsed on. And, 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 and the most again. painful aspect of ah. this series is that this thing happened. We have, oh, okay, let's dig into it. You set up a committee or you set up a panel, as you call it. <laughs> and after the report, and after the report and no, then, panel no, 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 <laughs> no lesson is learned. And then there is nothing to be put in place to serve as a deterrent. Because if somebody is heavily put as they are advocating oh, that boy. people should oh, be boy. punished to serve as a deterrent, I think it could oh. help to mitigate. But as we speak, nobody has been, as you're asking me, nobody was in Islam. No, nobody. You can't nobody control anybody. Is. So the question is, what have we put in place to, to stem the tide? What have we put in place to ensure that it doesn't happen again? If it does happen, are there punishment? The answer is nobody I, I hope nobody tells us here. And that's painful. And, and nobody, I hope nobody tells us here and outside of here that it's the will of... No, but we can't bring it about the will of God. God I don't think it's okay, the will of God okay. for, for, oh, for a beauty oh, to collapse. Was that what I, what I, what I was going to say? Oh, I, was, I wanted to read your mind anyway. <laughs> All right, okay. Well, uh, Cyril, you know, bad behavior in every aspect of our national life must be punished. There are different debates or arguments that could be raised. Somebody could say that. How do you begin to address the Lagos Island issue? Mm -hmm. yeah, those exactly. those houses you see there, closer, closer those, are, those houses you see there, where a two-story building turns into something else. Suddenly, somebody puts and, some, and this is a, a residential building and, and, uh, and a school. A school is, you, is you put, there you put, approved. You put a school for children at the, at the, the, at, the on the on the on the on the last floor. So you see, you have a a, a one-story building. Somebody goes to a window, puts some lay, lay some mm -hmm. blocks, open a, op, op, opens a, a boutique. Another person near him op uh, op opens a, 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 a barber saloon. By the time you know, what was meant to take, let's say, a weight of about, say... It's, it's, say, it's, say, say so, sorry, we, we have a company here. David is reaching us from Boko. Boko is in Benway State. Mm -hmm, yes. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. David, I greet you. Yes, thank you. Welcome. Yes, I'm calling to participate on the program. Go on, sir. Hello. Go, Go on, ahead, on, David. Yes, I'm a builder by profession. All right. My call is that I'm disappointed with the way the chairman spoke. Is he a member? I was is expecting he a... that he will now tell us what solution will come from right. the collapsed building, but he could not say anything tangible. I was very, very surprised with the way he talked. I'm a builder by profession. Mm. So as a chairman or a president of that organization, he's supposed to have spoken better. Mm. He did not convince anybody that this is the solution to the problem. Yeah. That is my take on it. Uh, Thank you. Many, many thanks. And I, I, quite, I, I tend to we, agree with you. Let, let, let him bury his. Well, okay. I, I, I wish we had asked David for some insight of what perhaps they do in Benway State. Okay. But, That's but, okay. Yes, okay. okay. but, but he's gone. The fact, you see, when Ghani Fawimi was alive, one day he said he was no longer going to be a part of the NBA. Okay. He resigned. I think that by now, B the building community or builder, professional builder, should be sufficiently incensed to say that if government does not take action on one or two collapsed cases, they are going to withdraw their services. You know, something it, it, drastic. It, it, oh, because, I, I, it's I'm it's sorry. difficult. It, it's difficult to do that. Let me, let me say, sorry, Joe. Yeah, you know, okay. Why? Because I have witnessed, I witnessed a case where, you know, in the, in the building industry, you have professionals and specialists. You have the architects, you have the builders, and you have the draftsman and all that. You have Tyler's. Exactly. Name them. Name them. But you, they, you, you gave a job to okay, an architect. Architect, architect that undertook the whole process or the whole processes of of building. Now, sidetracking the builder, sidetracking all. That. So if you say, if, if, you say, if the people say okay, they are not going to do it. Other people, other people have professional. Who, who, who are they? Who no. are they? For this, if you now see an architect to say okay, I, I, I architect now become become a builder. It overnight. becomes illegal. That's what I'm talking about. Is it not happening now? Is it not so happening? When, when, you, when, when, so, so when therefore you go to Lagos Island, somebody yeah. may ask and say, so with the way these buildings are, those buildings simply symbolize... Because of that distress. No, yes. They symbolize a cry for housing. Mm. Since housing is not sufficient, since there's deficit, you begin to see these manifestations. Yes, exactly. oh, yeah. They are symptoms of a bigger disease. That's it. That's so it. if you say all of you live in Lagos Island, uh, uh, come so, out. So in other words, an existing building suddenly becomes... 
Uh, a mansion. That's it. Oh, it's an empire. Even, so, even, 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 even uh, uh, it, uh, what's the name? The small one mm -hmm. the, that has no foundation mm -hmm. to carry mm -hmm. any floor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, you see it carrying so, five floors. So then, so then, what happens is that if we say all those buildings are are in danger, shut them down. Everybody living in those places, come out. Where are they going to go to? Mm. We understand all, all, all of the yes. arguments. But what we are saying is that in the meantime, the ones you can hold. Hold them and prosecute them. And, 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 and come heavily Be, down Begin there. from there. Okay. Come heavily down begin there. from it, there. You yeah. know, I, I, I spoke in passing about the collapse in my state. Yes, exactly. December 16, 20, yeah. That's right. And the governor was present. Barely, he, it, barely it, it escaped barely, right. he, by the skin of the teeth. That's it. Between 2016 and now, nothing, nothing has been and, done. And the church is still existing. Okay, okay, okay. Um, still to come, federal government, sorry, come on. Federal High Court Abuja grants interim order for the release of dethroned Emir of Kano, Mohammed Sanusi II, from detention. You want to stay on for that? Okay then, welcome back. You know, our prevailing interesting times are captured, I dare say, by the current saga of the deposed 14th Emir of Kano, Mohammed Sanusi II. Just five days into his deposi uh, deposition, the first pos positive legal salvo from the ousted monarch is fired from the country's capital as the Federal High Court has granted an interim order releasing the booted emir from house arrest. Justice Anwoli Chikere granted the order on behalf of, of his attorney Latif Fagbemi S.A.N. I move this evening to quote Malcolm X. He said, nobody can give you freedom, nobody can give you equality or justice or anything. If you are a man, you take it, end quote. <laughs> by, by what means? Take it by what means? All means possible. In this you case, know, in this, you in know this, that. In this, in, this, <laughs> in this case, the courts have given it to him. Okay. But he sought, he sought, I, he yes, sought, sought, yes. He sought no, of course, so he's taking it. Yeah. I, I, because the courts won't give it to him free. free so free, 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 that's one way of time. taking it. Mm -hmm. That's it. And I think that, you know, we're watching a drama play out from deposition to reposition. And I think it is happening in, in, in a very grand style. Mm -hmm. Because the fact is that... This is like scene one, act one, scene, one, scene one. one. This is going to be a long drawn drama. And we had better be ready for the long ride. Wow. Yes, apparently very long ride. Because we are, we've, we've seen it. Mm. We, we've, I mean, any, any, anybody who is a student of politics and literature understands where this is going to end. But the fact is that, um, you know, even this evening, they deposed the Emma and led prayers at Awe. The, 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 yeah, the, exactly. And then the governor yes, was The governor Kaduna said was there. He prostrated to him. He greeted him properly and so on. Right. So this is clearly um, playing out. The fact is that <laughs> there is a measure of unconstitutionality, you know, around his banishment and detention. Although I think I read in one of the accounts that the, that the county state government didn't claim yeah, it was the commissioner for justice that said it. That yes. it was being the, um, well, de detained. The, the so, yes. So this is clearly, I mean, if we are going to explore the, the legal road, there, there's a lot of fireworks to play out, first of all. But the fact is that from this point on, what begins to happen? That is the bigger question. Already has been appointed as um, the chancellor, chancellor of, the of Cardinal University. University. Before then, was appointed into the... Vice, you see, uh, all those yeah. prophets who thought they understood traditional law and so on, and we are saying all kinds of things that he, had, that he had been sent to prison. He has not been sent to prison. He has not even been sent to exile. In fact, as it is now, he, he, it appears he has become a greater celebrity. He's, he's going to become a greater celebrity than the MH of Khan would have even given and to he's him. he's not become yeah. a villain. Mm -hmm. So, what we are, the question we are going to be asking is, in the <clears> days <throat> to come, how, because this is clearly an elite war, so how, who are the members? Cl cl class war. It, it, of course, it's a class war. So, who are the members of his own side of the class? Mm. That are going to join forces with, with Governor Erufai to further okay, accentuate exactly. and put, you know, and then mm. those who are going to, because mm. as it is right now, it appears clearly that those who are after them are on the defensive. Mm. But I would like to leave this matter and see what happens in the days to come. Ch Ch yes. sir, just be before you go on, my people, the proud EBB people say, if you enter bush, <laughs> see a man, they, see they don't take a whole goat, <laughs> set trap. <laughs> Would you be stupid enough to wait to see which kind of animal they want to catch? It could be, it could be a lion. You might be this because <laughs> uh, no, no, the, the, big, the bigger, the bigger, the, the bigger the, the, bait. the bait, then. The <laughs> <laughs> but you see, we must look at this, and, and I'm so happy that uh, his um, 
right to freedom has been granted him by that court uh, court uh, uh, proceeding. Yeah. But you see, this thing was not allowed to fester to stay because, and it has its antecedent in the environment we are discussing mm. downstairs for yeah. came up. Yeah. That banishment of an Oba from a town it's doesn't kingdom. have to be everywhere in Nigeria. Because in, in uh, 1896, when the Obavarame of Benin was deposed, then there was need for him to be banished from Benin because by Benin culture, you, you tell them he have... blocked the British. Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. And so, because somebody goes say, but why banish? Uh, well, so you could in Benin culture, which he, which he subsists, you couldn't have two kings in, in that kingdom. city. Oh, yeah, he never So detoning him, meaning that you are going to throw somebody else. And if he had remained in that city, meaning you had two kings. Invariably. So if he had remained in that city, meaning you had two kings. Invariably. So which was why the Obavarame was, was removed or banished from Benin to Calabar. Uh, Calabar. But they have retained those relics of colonial colonialism, which of course yeah. is yeah. still playing out in Canada. I also have the, uh, the you remember in 2005 that uh, the uh, Jokolo of uh, Guandu, Emel Guandu, mm. was mm. also deposed of Flinders exquisite by Alero, uh, Adem, Adam Alero at yeah. that time. The man was sent to Lafia. Even though he, the court said he must be restated, as we speak today, the, the case is still, I mean, for <laughs> eight years he was in court. So I think we must begin to look at it. And I, I'm so happy because this one will further enrich our, our jurisprudence to ensure mm. that even when you depose someone, you don't need to seize the right to person. And then you say he's going to live in that town till, for the rest of his life. Oh, yeah. uh, who does that? Mm. So I, I, I remember I the, the late that's, that's okay. That's what he was going to Adama was somewhere in Adama, Adama was state. Zing, no, Zing. Oh, is it Taraba? Taraba. Oh, Taraba. Yeah. Taraba yes, state, yes, exactly. Yes, Taraba. I mean, that's where he, 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 he died. He never, he never saw Tokoto before he died. Mm. So we must begin to insist on some of these things that are uh, that belong to the colonial colo colo area to not even find its way to present, uh, the present Nigeria. Yeah. So I, I, for this court uh, ruling, I think it should go, go before that. I think they are meeting on the 26th yeah, of March again okay. to further look at uh, all well, the areas. Cyril, let's go there now. Is a former Emir Sanusi offending? Is he the offending party or uh, the government? Because government is saying, gave reasons why he was deposed. One, this, you know, and, he was and disrespectful. So, he was no longer attending this. Or, this did, he, did he play by the rules? I, I think that crisis festered for quite a long time. Oh, it's been brimming. Yes, yeah, of course. yes. And for a lot of watchers, they knew that this was inevitably going to happen. Yes, and so it was bound to happen, of course. If you, if you looked at the, the, the sort of things he was saying and so on, it, it was happening. People in Kano will tell you that, like you rightly said, they will invite him to come for meetings, he wouldn't go and so on. I was not in Kano, so I don't know personally, but mm. we, we, we had all those reports. If the state chief tenancy law empowers the governor to depose a reigning monarch, that's as far as it can Giving go. reasons. Yes, yes, that's as far as it can go. But the issues in contention, and I remember that we had one of the lawyers to the Emir on our news that same day, I, I don't know, the following day, uh, on Tuesday. On Tuesday. Yes, we had, after Mahmoud had, um, his lead counsel had briefed, which we took live, I think 7 p.m. news, we had one of his lawyers who said, the first thing he said when Boss had asked him the question, the first thing he said was that, let us make it clear. We are not challenging his dethronement. What we are challenging is, is his banishment and detention. Yeah. And then the, yeah. the uh, house arrest. The fact is that Nigeria has what, what the lawyers call a ground norm. Mm -hmm. Any law that flies in the face, or any practice that flies, or pronouncement of government that flies in the face of the constitution of Nigeria, 1999 has amended, is to be no, declared no, null and void. void. Yeah. Which, is why, which is why, when, you know, taking this, this whole case to court, you saw how, how, how it even yeah, ended to okay. So we are, there, are, there are perimeters. There, there is the extent to which people we believe that justice should be served. Okay. But then on the and be seen to be served. And be seen to be served. Exactly. But on the but on the on the on the first principles of his deposition, that matter I think is being looked at more as a political thing. Mm -hmm. more, that is why. S sorry, so we have company again. Tunde is reaching us from Lagos. <clears throat> Tunde, we greet you. Hi guys. Yeah, how do you do? Tunde from Maryland. Thank you. Okay then. Yeah, um, as regards um, SLS um, detainment saga, I just feel what Kano State government has done is a mockery of themselves as a government. Your and um, by the letters and what they have written, it's clear they had masterminded his removal and his detainment. 
-hmm. But the mistake, the greatest mistake they made is that for a man like Sanusi, who has an impeccable character mm -hmm. and is seen as somebody that is extremely trustworthy, we can see the kind of people that are coming to his aid, like the governor of um, Kaduna mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. But it's a long-drawn battle as far as I'm concerned. And I hope that um, justice is served. That all we, it's high time we need to differentiate between the, our traditional institutions that are sacred to us and the Constitution. So, yeah. And I guess with that, we'll be able to put things right. Thank you. Charles, yes. the traditional institution is a creation. Well, uh, but of course, uh, of so, the so British, sorry, yeah, uh, if you recall, if you, your history serves you well, it was to enhance indirect rule. No, 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 it didn't not, not in our cases, one way. No, 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 what essentially to reach. You are going to ask yourself, why didn't it work effectively in the eastern, all the no, eastern no, region? No, it didn't actually create it. When they came, they only enhanced, as you said, in order to also help them with the administration of those places. Yeah. For instance, the Benin Kingdom was already well established, even before the, the, the colonial masters came here. The Sultanate. No, the Sultanate also. You should, you should add that the British had a tough time reaching, uh, reaching the people. Exactly. Conquering, yeah. conquering yeah. the Kingdom. Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It was after, because it was, they had a military, they had military mind. Just like the El Kanemi. Uh, El Kanemi, 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 So even the Sultanate also was already well established and all that, where you have all these, uh, uh, the, the magis and all that. So, but in order for, for, for ease of administration, they now reach out to them and then had them to be, they now use them for them to be able to penetrate. So it was as if it was the creation of the, of the, of, of the okay. colonial masters. Post-independent Nigeria, didn't, don't you think the institution should have been either formalized or Reward. Or, or no, you see, you know, the, the, this debate has always been, and I think India in 1974, 76 or so, brought monarchy to an end. Mm. Okay. They effectively and officially brought and said, told themselves, we're going to be a republic. You can look at that track record. Begin, be, yes, be, it's begin not, it's not, it's not relevant. When um, the Babangida, what was he called? Um, the, the committee, Professor Kuki, head, um, mm. headed. Okay, oh yeah. You know, that, yeah. that, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. committee. A number of recommendations were made. Shall, shall we have a triarchy? Shall we have a diarchy? Shall we have, have a monarchy, a, a, a monarchy you know? or whatever? But in the end, we are a republic. And so if this matter, I think that on this issue we can have a referendum. Let us ask ourselves, in, 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 in 2020, 2020. Eh? in 2020, of what use? Is, is the Anayana, Amayana, is or the Obong, <laughs> of course, or, or, or the Oba? You know, because we have had, had our fair share, now that you've talked about Amayana, Am Am mm -hmm. but in 1896, the British came to my place and, it, and deposed King Ibanichuka. They took maybe for 50 years, we couldn't find the replacement. Exactly, that's it. Because in our culture, mm -hmm. we would have to see where the late king is buried before we before you start a new one. So, for 50, find so there was a hiatus for half a century. Okay. What that sort of thing was that it weakens culture. But that's a debate for another day. So the fact is that we need to come, let's have that discussion. Do we want to continue to have them in our midst? What really is their role? Yeah. What is their role in, in a democracy? What is their role? I, so if we can't answer that question, what it does is this. It has, there is a problem with our identity as a democratic society. Okay. So it must be answered. But I think we still don't need them. No, For we, culture we, to try, we still uh, don't need them. Oh, come on, you are taking sides now. Oh. Uh, it, it was an open debate. Don't take sides. Okay. We'll take this breather and return. Please don't go. Okay, just to inform you, uh, Charles has taken his leave. Uh, not because he wants to. We have a new subject matter um, which invites Mia Akiri. Let's first see him. How do you do? I do do. Good to be here. Okay. Now, you know, during a pandemic, all of humanity is under grave threat. And uh, as you would agree with me, um, the, the uh, corona. The, the worst pandemic in modern history was the Spanish flu of 1918, which killed over 50 million people around the world. Now, the new kid on the block is the corona disease, COVID-19. This Frankenstein, which was first reported in the Wuhan uh, province of China, has found its way into halls of power around the world. Perhaps the most debilitating effect of the disease is the one affecting the world of sports, 
Arsenal Football Club, that's my club of England. Uh, the manager, Mikel Ateka, Ateta, has uh, tested positive for the terrifying coronavirus, thereby putting the game with Brighton on hold. The Gunners training ground is closed and all club staff who had contact with the manager are to self-isolate. I underline that. Self-isolate. Mm. Best tech, you know, and um, we must indeed report also that uh, it's not just Arsenal at this point in time. Yeah. Um, before Mikel Ateta tested positive, um, there were talks about players of Leicester City Football Club, three of them, although... We, we hear the manager, you know, the organ. Brendan Rogers, you know, confirming that, that some players you know, have been reacting to symptoms oh of coronavirus, which is worrisome. As we speak now, um, the Merseyside derby that probably could have seen the lights of day since the Premier League has been called off. Everton Football Club players are in, also involved. If I tell involved. them, all matches in, in England... The, in, in England, you know from the English Football League, the Championship, to the Premier League, the FA, the Women's, they've, been all, they've all been called off. Mm. Um, the last 24 hours, Boris Johnson was talking about the fact that, yes, you wouldn't say, oh, sports and activity, especially football, the Premier League should be called off. But as, it, as we speak now, um, there is a change. Um, I feel sorry for Mikel Ateta at this point in time. Mm. Um, you must also admit that um, it's a matter of life and death also, oh, yeah. um, looking at the fact that um, this deadly virus has um, really it's the world of um, sports. Um, now, my and worry... That, and that's, that's a huge one. That's a huge one. My worry, you know, um, before I come back to Ateta, let's take a look at the NBA, for example. The NBA is huge financially. And with the NBA being suspended, the owners of clubs may decide not to pay players which will indeed um, bring in, you know, some form of bad blood. And then um, it could also bring in some form of legal battle at the end of the mm -hmm. day. And that's what um, the coronavirus, that so many sports and activities or so many sports uh, football club owners, you know, were not prepared for. Now to the Premier League. There is now the question of, will Liverpool be crowned champions? Or probably, will the league be said to be null and void? You know, that's what the Premier League board will have to sit and decide in the coming days. Um, we've been talking about... S serious, so you are dealing with a monster here. Sure, yeah. that, 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 the, the monster in the coronavirus mm -hmm. and then the challenges it's bringing to sports. Um, you're talking about the English Championship as it stands. Leeds United are top of the English Championship. Oh, yeah. Now you have Liverpool... I, I, I return to the... That's it. Top Le light. Liverpool top the Premier League table. 82 points. Now, the second team is Manchester City, 57 points. And then you want to say on a good day that then, yes, the trophy should be given to Liverpool. Um, if everything um, is contained um, and then the league is certified fit to go ahead by the 3rd of April or the 4th of April, but should that not see the light of day, then other um, issues outside the box will not be considered. The so, sorry, is but, but Liverpool have to win three matches unbroken, unbroken. to be high. So, yes. so if you suspend this, they have to wait. Now, the, 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 the law is this. You must play each team home and away before you can be crowned champions. That's and it. that's when the season is completed in the summer. But with the deadly coronavirus, the monster that has faced the world of sports, that has altered you know, everything, and you want to talk about the Premier League, some would say the most glamorous financially. Where a team coming from the championship to the Premier League gets above £100 million, pounds, mm. which is huge money. Now, you also want to talk about, you know, the broadcast rights. It is massive across the globe. Um, you want to talk about stakeholders at this point in time. Players whose contracts would fans. end. And fans. And fans. You know, players whose contracts would end, you know, at the end of June. How do you come to such conclusion about the league? You know, that's the problem those on the EPL board will have to face in the coming yeah, days. Yeah. If the situation is not contained between now and the 3rd of April, and then um, its decision is said to be taken. But as it stands now, you want to say, yes, Liverpool are champions, 
If you take a look at the table, Potentially. now you want to talk about those who will be vying for European football next season, which is also the biggest mm. dramatic mm. challenge. Mm. You know, everyone will be thinking of at this point in time, mm. no thanks to the coronavirus. Manchester City, owing to their ban, would say no to Champions League football with the way things mm -hmm. stand. But you want to consider Leicester City. Leicester City are third with the 30 points. So you, you welcome them to the Champions League. Chelsea, Manchester United, will all be going to the Champions League. But now, with more than nine games left to play, uh, that's massive points. You're talking about about 27 points, 30 yeah. points at this point in time. That can turn around the fortune you know, of a club. Staying in the Premier League, qualifying for European football and all what not. All right, let, let me bring uh, Cyril, please. Uh, they talk about, uh, what, what do you call them now? Uh, conspiracy theorists mm. are saying, this, here we go again, when you bow man, they don't cook another mm. something. Mm. Uh, have you heard that? Uh, y yes, I have. In fact, mm. some, some people actually, rather sarcastically, mm -hmm. go on to say colonial virus. It is not that. I think what we have on our hands is something really serious. Uh, the fact that, you see, like you rightly pointed out in my introduction, you said, horse of power, mm. wife of the, of, the Canadian, of, the Canadian, of the Canadian Prime Minister, the the health minister of the UK, uh -uh. you know. I, I understand the Brazilian president is also involved at this point in time. Yeah. You know, when the president of Mongolia came out from China, he was quarantined. So he was was quarantined. These are the issues. Yeah. The fact, perhaps, even if the WHO had not declared it a pandemic yeah. publicly, we should have taken pandemic measures about two weeks, about three weeks, about four weeks, perhaps a month ago, yeah. so that we could have would have contained the spread. But what obtained the spread? But what about the cases now? It's been declared, and um, we can only hope that um, a, somebody like Michael Latour uh, re, 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 recovers. You know, when uh, after he took the job in December last year, he and the club went to see Dubai away for, oh, yes. oh, for, yeah. for, and then he came back. I, I recall that when he was coming back, he said he couldn't wait to experiment all that they had learned in that um, um, you know va vacation. Yeah. They came back and we began to see the club, you know, taking, take, taking shape. He is only two months in the saddle, two or three months in the in the in the in the, yeah. in the, in, in the dog and this is already happening. I hope that he recovers quickly. Not only him, but in Odoi of Odoi. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, the video that is recorded yeah. fast. So I mean, but what we cannot take away is the fact that these are societies that understand what it means to deal with public health emergency. That's it. Hmm. You hear a player saying, "I have self-isolated because I'm." Yes. Seeing, I'm, I'm oh, seeing all right. But here in Nigeria, it is in Jones. A player collapsed and died on the pitch. Um, because there was nobody to attend to him medically. Don't spoil my evening. No, but it is true. Don't spoil my evening. Uh, Mayen, how do we bury this? Well, um, looking at the situation, I think we would have to wait. Um, a decision has not been taken. And um, uh, for those who have been dreaming of a trophy for Liverpool Football Club, especially the EPL title in over 30 years, uh, after 30 years. you know, mm. they would indeed um, have to <laughs> wait and hope that the, the league kick off on the 4th. Of April. Yeah, yeah. Let them know that every good thing will come to those who wait. That's it. Yeah. So, yeah. so to, to the fans of um, Liverpool, maybe they should indeed um, exercise some form of patience. But then, um, fingers crossed, mm. um, nothing is guaranteed at the moment. Mm. Um, the U.S. president is talking about Tokyo Olympics being postponed. Now, the host country is saying, for now, no. You know, so. A lot of politics can also, you know, oh, yeah. going on at the oh, spot yeah. in time. But we must it has to do with bread. Bread. Well, well you know, and we must indeed them um, put out ahead first of, ahead well, of okay. well, you know, wealth and all that, or probably selfish interest in vatted commas, which I'm I'm is. happy you didn't go there by saying <laughs> don't belong to the so called it is not your portion. Uh, gang. Yeah. <laughs> uh, me and Akiri, let me thank you for your time. Many thanks. Uh, no less so uh, Cyril Abaku. My pleasure, citizen. Okay, then. Thank you. Well, that's, that will just about do it on the program this evening and the week. Join us next week for another episode. But then, if you missed this, the, the program is also on other platforms. We'll show you on the screen. And on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash TVC News Nigeria. The feedback channel remains the same. On behalf of the Backroom Boys, I am Citizen Jones Usain saying bye-bye for now.